Hello traders. In this video. Today I have a very powerful indicator that I want to share with you as you can see here, I was able to generate pretty good signals like this one here, which for me very good profitable trading strategy, and also very by just making profit with lowest risk this without leverage. And as you can see here in the uptrend, we also have some amazing signals and it's a new indicator and seems like nobody is using it yet. And that's why I want to share with you this valuable information so that you can include this strategy in your trading and be profitable with it. Nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for informational purposes. Let's start with the chart. I want to show you the strategy on the gold chart. So you go to the similar search and choose XAUUSD, which stands for gold. You select it and add it to your chart. And now we're going to change the time frame to 1 hour. I tested different time frames, but the 1 hour is the one which works best. So you choose 1 hour as your time frame OK. And for the indicators, you go to the indicators tab, and first you look for machine learning. So you type in machine learning and then Lorenzian classification. And as you can see here, we have machine learning, Lorenzian classification by this guy here, GD Horde. And you select it and add it to your chart. So to optimize the strategy, we need to change some settings of the indicator. So you go to the settings of the Lorenzian classification indicator, and under inputs, I want you to change the neighbors count from 8 to 9. Then please scroll down and you will see here under kernel settings, the option show kernel estimate. You uncheck the box, then you go to style and here you can see we have two options, labels and tables and I want you to uncheck these two boxes too. You click OK. As you can see here now we have a much cleaner chart with the signals that we need. And as you can imagine, as I always tell you, we will trade with the trend so we need another indicator to classify the trend. You go to the indicators tab and here we're going to use the 200 EMAs. So you're typing the search moving average exponential, and you will see here the moving average exponential. You select it and add it to your chart. And here we need to take some changes as well. You go to inputs of the EMA settings and you change the length from 9 to 200. And here under style, I like to change the color to white and choose a wider thickness so that you can see it better. And that's it. Now we have the 200 EMA in the chart with the signals that we need. And let me explain to you how this strategy works. Now, let's start with a downtrend movement. As you can see here, we have the 200 EMA, which is the white line. And if the price is moving below the 200 EMA, it means that we are moving in a downtrend movement. And in this case, we are allowed to take only short positions. So it means that the sell signals are valid as long as the price is moving below the 200 EMA, and we ignore the long signals, which are the green signals here. Now, we have two options on how we can profit from this movement here. What I like to do always is to do a trading stop. So I just let my winners run. And as you can see here, up to 2%. I think I would exit the position somewhere here, and it's a nice profit. But if you don't want to hold your position so long, you have the option to exit the trade a little earlier. For example, here, let's do this. You can set your stop loss slightly above the 200 EMA, and then you can exit the trade as long as you get a long signal in the downtrend. This is a good option as well. And in this case, you don't have to hold your position so long. So it would mean here that you would exit your trade here on this place, which would bring you 1.57% profits. And at the next leverage, for example, it's 15%, which is a good one. So it means that in this strategy, we can use the invalid long signals in the downtrend as an exit signal. And as you can see here, right after the long signal, we get another valid short signal. And here we could do the same. So we enter a short position here and then if we would exit the position in the long signal, we would do approximately 1%, which is also a good one. But as I told you, I like to do trading stop as well. So this is also an option. And here it's very important, guys, that when you get the signal, you have to wait for the candle to close. And after the candle closes, it will not repaint. So the signal will stay here and you can enter your trade. But you have to wait for it to close. And that's how you trade in the downtrend. 
Now, let's have a look at the uptrend. As you can see here, the price moves above the 200 EMA. And in this case, we are allowed to take only long positions, so we ignore all the sell signals. And here, right after the price is above the 200 EMA, we get a long signal from the indicator and we could also enter a long position from here, which would mean that if we would do a trading stop like, I like to do, it would be a potential profit for more than 35%. But here you also have the possibility to exit the signal on the to exit the trade on the sell signal from the indicator. So for this one here, we would have made more than 19%. And the next leverage, it's more than 190%. And also we have this one here, 6%. And this one here, more than 5%. And last here this more than 2%. Just to see how amazing this indicator is, guys. Really, I'm really impressed by that. And there is something more that I would like to add here on this place, guys. As you can see, we have different intensities in the colors, and it means that the less intense the color is, like this one here is a bit more dark than this one, it means that the model is in this place here with less intensity, less confident. But I wouldn't actually pay much attention to that because as you can see, all the signals are good, no matter how strong the color is. So you can just take your trade and of course, you have to pay attention to your risk management system. So as I told you, I would recommend you to set a stop loss on the 200 EMA or slightly below the 200 EMA if you are in a long position, and then it should be good. However, it's important to note that no strategy is guaranteed to be profitable and careful testing and evaluation are necessary before using any strategy in live trading. And that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I'm really impressed how good this strategy performs. As a data scientist myself, I work a lot with machine learning algorithms, but I've never found such an accurate indicator like this one here which uses state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms. And as soon as I found it, I thought I have to make a video to share it with you guys. I would appreciate it if you are new. If you like the video, hit the like button and all I'm asking for return is that you subscribe to the channel. I wish you a happy trading. See you soon in next video. Thanks for watching our video.